Hello, good day. My name is Daria Loyola. I am a PhD candidate at University Paris to Pantheon Assess. My scientific advisor is Jennifer Merchant. I would like to present my research and the title of my presentation is French Public Policy in Higher Education Influenced by the International Concurrence between Universities is Bringing Changes to the Educational Culture. Higher education world is all we know, the reflection of society development. The main basic principles of society are refined at higher education culture. They are defined and glorified in higher education institutions. Changes brought by the globalized world are embraced by the economy and fought by the culture. Changes that modern society engages for higher education systems are discussed with fear, pride and prejudice. What seems objective and demanded by the time for higher education policy makers seems unnatural for the conservatives of higher education. We are going to talk about one of the aspects that drive changes in the higher education and changing slowly the higher educational culture. This aspect is competition between universities on the international scale. The object of our study is French higher education. Nowadays, when the internationalization becomes not a trend but necessity for universities all over the world to find their place and attractiveness, their status and sources, the policymakers look more attentively at the results of rankings and other regional and national evaluations to work on the status upgrade and to elaborate the right strategy for higher education system and the universities. We conduct an analysis which is an attempt to see this influence and if possible to measure. First of all, we would like to talk about higher education culture in France. Even though there is no scientific work on the French higher education culture, it is, uh, its identity is not so difficult to establish. By the latter, French higher education culture is based on the secular education independent from any political, economic, religious or ideological dominance. I'm right now cit uh, citing the Education Code, Article L141. It tends to the objectivity of knowledge, it respects the diversity of opinion and guarantees to the education and the research the possibilities of free scientific, constructive and critical development. Article L 146 of the Education Code. By this spirit, it is based on the equality of chances, free access to higher education and academic democracy. Recent governmental initiatives, more particularly law regarding the liberty and the responsibility of the universities promulgated in 2007, and the new law framework on the higher education and research, which is called FURAZO law, adopted by French Senate at the end of June 2013, reflect the changes in higher education that could be cultural. First of all, the declared aims of the law LRU, the law of 2007, were first make the university more attractive, second, to leave the policy of universities' governance, and third, to make universities' research more visible internationally. The last aim was directly dictated by the existence of Shanghai ranking and the poor place of French universities in it. Secondly, after the beginning of 2007 university reform, the French Minister of Higher Education, Valérie Pécresse, visited the Diaoton scholars, the creators of Shanghai Ranking, to introduce the higher education reform undertaken in France and to underline the positive changes for French universities. Particularly, it was mentioned that the universities will become bigger and more interdisciplinary, which is assured by the creation of federal universities, poles of research and higher education, press in French. 
This visit shows clearly the attention of the French government at world rankings and the intention to improve the place of French universities. Apart from the aim of international visibility of the advantages of French universities, there is another important line of politics, the promotion of excellence and selectivity. This was evoked in the report for French Senate by two senators, Madame Dominique Guillot and Monsieur Ambroise Dupont. So they presented their work, which is called The Autonomy of the Universities After the Law LRU, The Big Bang, uh, which was published 26 March 2013. In this report, the senators confirm the objective of LRU to make the French higher education model more attractive according to the rankings criteria and the growing international competition between universities. The excellence is represented by the world-recognized highly ranked American and British institutions which belong to the higher education culture of the capitalist economic system of the developed states. The excellence of these institutions is found on their financial autonomy and autonomy of their governance. The same report cites the European Council that called European higher education systems for excellence in their institutions. The word excellence is going throughout the report which became a footstep of the project of new law, Law of Eurozo, being at the moment adopted in France. Apart from continuing the policy of the reinforcement of universities' autonomy and corrections of their government, governance, a new law project also introduces the obligation of courses in English language at French universities. This generates a long debate for French academic society. On the one hand, it makes French universities more attractive for international students who don't speak French. The number of, in, uh, of incoming mobility would rise. The paid educational programs will find their consumers. On the other hand, the quality of this education will lose whether linguistically or scientifically. What is more, one of the sides of this attractiveness of France, the capital of the Francophone, was its open door for French-speaking countries. This was also favorable for the promotion of the French language. Now, when the capital of this club is about to adopt another second major language, it loses a little bit its cultural identity. In order to see if the practitioners at the institutions of higher education in France uh, are different from the general governmental line, we conducted the interviews of universities' decision makers on the internationalization strategy. We chose three French universities to find out their politics of attractiveness and the place of international competition in their reflections. First university is specialized in law, economy and human sciences. It has 39,876 students with 7,712 uh, 7, foreign students and with a budget a little bit uh, over 200 million euros. In our research, we call it Uni Humanitarian. Second university, Uni Science, is specialized in science and mathematics. It is ranked first in France, sixth in Europe, and 37th worldwide in the academic ranking of world universities, ARWU, and also first French university in Shanghai ranking in 2012 with 37th place. It has uh, 27,000 students, uh, 4,780 foreign students and its budget is 400 million euros. Third university, Uni Medicine, is an interdisciplinary university with a very strong research in medicine biotechnologies, social sciences, and psychology. It has 38,900 students, and uh, among them there are 4,000 foreign students, and the budget is 
333 million euros. Altogether, these three French universities cover 23.5% of the total number of foreign students in the region of Ile-de-France and 7.5% of the total number of foreign students in France. We have interviewed the vice presidents responsible for the international relations. These vice presidents are the persons which, with its international relations team, elaborate the international strategy of the institution and present it in a form of quadriennal plan. We have interrogated these internationalization policy decision makers on the different issues related to the international concurrence and its effects on the university strategy. All the three decision makers agreed that the concurrence plays an important role in the elaboration of university strategy. And even though all three of them criticized rankings for their non-applicability to the different contexts, including the French context, context, which is clearly less homogeneous than Ivy League context, they still admit that they take into account the criteria of rankings while working on their policy of attractiveness. They did outline clearly the zones of their interests, market zones, which is several Asian countries and the countries of BRICS. Two of three universities agreed that anglophonization is inevitable in higher education. All the three universities are in favor of the raise of the fees, which are really low in France, and for selectivity. One of the interviewed acknowledged that the academic capitalism is inevitable, even though France will fight for its higher education cultural identity. Rob Cuthbert, in his work Changing the Higher Education Culture, Is It Possible?, tries to highlight the possible changes in the UK higher education, which are globalization, managerialization, marketization, massification, diversification, privatization and academic capitalism. More and more scholars in France are worried about the academic capitalism. Our research shows that in France the situation is not the same as in the UK, but the trends are the same. Even though the actors of this process hope that French higher education wouldn't become Americanized or marketized, our analysis shows that they are conquer that uh, they are competition oriented and market oriented, and it means that market leaders set the trends to follow. We shall conclude that internationalization of the higher education means competition strengthening, and which finally contributes to the academic capitalism. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to share with you the rest of our research. You can find out information about it in the journals. Thank you very much.